have been telling you exactly what to make in art class. We have made buildings and cities and people and figures. We've gotten our emotions out. We've played with getting our feelings on paper. We've made things with lines and shapes. We've drawn animals. We've drawn so many different silly things. But this week, you get to take control. We are going to do a creativity challenge. So this week, I have 10 challenge challenges for you, and you get to choose your favorite one. Whichever challenge you like the best is the one you are going to do. So we might all choose all different challenges, and that's okay and super cool. Now to do our creativity challenges today, you can use whichever art supplies you want. You may use your white paper, you may use your colorful paper, you may use lines paper. You might want to start with your pencil doing your sketch drawing, maybe use a black marker or crayon to outline it, and then use whatever coloring supplies you want to add color and enhance your artwork. It's going to be so cool, and I really can't wait to see all of the different choices that you make. Now remember, although there are 10 choices, you just have to choose one. They are all in a presentation right here below me, but I'm going to go through all of them here and you can see and refresh your brain when you click through the presentation. You can click through the example picture and then always click the back button in the corner to get back to the beginning too. So, do you want to learn what the challenges are? Let's do it. Challenge number one, produce in space. Ooh la la. Take anything that you would find in the grocery store, like a fruit or a vegetable or whatever you can think of, and put it in outer space. Maybe there are some planets around it, maybe there are stars, maybe they look like aliens, or maybe they're flying in an alien fruit basket. You get to decide. Challenge number two, the circle challenge. Ooh la la. Trace as many circles on your paper as you can. Try to do about five or six and then transform each of those circles into something new. What could you transform those circles into? Hmm. Think about all the different things in the world that are circular and try to draw those within or sometimes outside of those circle shapes. Think about things that are have parts that are circles like cars. Think about things that are round and can roll. The ideas are limitless. Transform each of those circles that you've drawn into something brand new. Challenge number three, the robot challenge. Beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. It's time to build your very own robot. You get to be an engineer. What would you want that robot to do or be? Hmm, think about what you need in your life and create a robot that matches that idea. You can build a robot with different shapes and lines and then add really cool features to make them look a little bit more human. Even think about power packs or claw hands or whatever eyes and mouth they might need. Challenge number four, the toy drawing. Grab your favorite toy in your house or something that you love to play with. Set it in front of you and then grab your pencil and coloring supplies and try to draw it to the best of your ability. This is called observational drawing. You're going to look at your toy and try to draw it exactly as you see it. Get all of the textures that you see, if it's something fuzzy and furry, or all the really cool details of the buttons or machinery, anything you see, draw it on there. Then of course, add that color so that it really gets realistic. Challenge number five, alien abduction. Let's all take a second and imagine that aliens have come to Earth. What would they look like? What would their spaceship look like? And what are they going to take back with them to show their friends? You get to decide. Draw an alien, draw a spaceship, and draw something being sucked back up into the spaceship. What might those aliens want to show their friends from Earth? It can be anything. Maybe it's a cow, maybe it's a person, or maybe it's an object that you really, really love that you would want the aliens to see too. Of course, don't forget to add color and put a background so that we can tell that the aliens are on Earth. Challenge number six, 
challenge number five. Let's make some shadow art. Take something that you love, like a toy or a trinket or a figurine of some kind, and set it in the sun in your house. Look around for where you see light coming in and shadows being created. You can take that object and trace the shadow as you see it coming onto your paper and make a really cool drawing that way. If you set up some little figurine animals, you can trace them to look like they are in a jungle. You could trace your cars. You could even trace some plants that you might have on your windowsill like I do. Or if your pets say stay still, you could even trace the shadows of your pets or family members. Let's make some shadow art. Once it's outlined, of course, you know what I'm gonna say, color it all in. You can make it realistic or imaginary. Challenge number seven, let's do a candy design. I don't know about you boys and girls, but I have a huge sweet tooth. I love candy. And sometimes I wish there was the perfect candy and it just hasn't been invented yet. Well, now it's your turn to create your very own candy. You're gonna invent what it looks like and what its package might look like. So pretend that you are Willy Wonka, you have your very own chocolate factory, and you are inventing gobstoppers or flip floopers or, or swirly twirly gumdrops. I don't know. You get to decide what does your candy look like and what does its beautiful candy package look like too. Challenge number eight. You get to invent a family flag. Every country that we are all from have a particular flag. America has this flag. China has this flag. Ireland has this flag. Honduras has this flag. Well, you now get to invent a flag for yourself. What would your flag for your family look like? Think about different shapes or pictures that would represent your family. Think about colors that are important to your family members, and think about using lines or shapes that represent the number of people in your family. If you think about the American flag, we are red, white, and blue. We have 50 stars to represent our 50 states. There are 13 red and white stripes that represent the 13 original colonies. Everything has an important significance. So each thing that you put on your flag should have a very important reason. Challenge number nine, outside your window drawing. Take your artwork and your art supplies to the nearest window around you or a window that has something neat outside. Post up right in front of it, draw that window shape, and now draw everything that you can see outside of your window. You might see other buildings, other homes, you might see a road, you might see some houses, you might see people walking their dogs, you might see some plants or sky. Whatever you see, draw it. Try to put as much detail as you possibly can. Then it will be like an eye spy. So really stop and look and put all of the details that you see. Black and white can look really cool, but color makes it awesome. So once you have all of your details, fill it all in with beautiful color. If you have extra space around your window, you could even draw some of the details on the inside of your home. Challenge number 10, botanical illustration. Ooh la la, it sounds so fancy. A botanical illustrator is someone who draws plants. They stop and look at plants and try to put all of the details of a plant in their drawing. It's used for science, which is pretty cool. Grab a plant that's in your house and draw it as you see it. You could grab a potted plant like a succulent or a philodendron or snake plant. You could grab a bouquet of flowers, maybe they're real flowers or maybe they're fake, could be pretty cool. And sit and draw those flowers as you see them. If they're in a pot, draw the pot. If they're in a vase, draw the vase. If they're sitting on a tabletop or a desk, draw that too. It will make it more realistic and lifelike. Remember, draw what you see, not what's just in your head. So really pay attention to the flowers in front of you. Real botanical illustrators really focus on all of the wonderful details. Once it's drawn, add the color to really bring it to life. Challenge number 11, animal mashup. Take a couple of your favorite animals and smash them together to create a, your brand new invented animal. 
Maybe you're taking some of your favorite animal parts and pieces and putting them together, or maybe you're inventing something brand new. It's up to you. You could take the head of a unicorn and the body of a fish and see what that makes. You could put a cat head on a dinosaur body with bird wings and feet like a platypus. The sky's the limit. You could mash up two animals or you could mash up 12 animals. When you're all done, you could color it in whatever colors you want or put the colors that would match the animal that they came from. So if it's a goldfish body, make it gold. If it is an elephant head, make it gray. Or mix it all together and make it unique to your own. We kind of get to be scientists here and make our very own species. So now that you've had a rundown of our 11 awesome challenges, choose your favorite one and get to work. Remember, start with pencil to draw your idea first, then amplify it with some outlines if you need to, and then finally add color, both on the thing that you drew and the outside. Fill that paper with color. We've been doing that for weeks, filling our paper, so I know you can handle it. When you're all finished with your artwork this week, upload it onto Canvas so I can see it. You can even comment and tell me which one you did, or you can upload a video telling me about your wonderful creativity challenge. I hope you have a lot of fun making your challenge this week. Maybe in future weeks we'll have some time to come back to this and make another one. We'll see. Have fun pushing your creativity, having your own personal choice making this week, and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Bye, boys and girls.